the great <clears throat> establishment of law. In that establishment are we with debts, debts that require money. In order to pay off a debt, you have to have money. And the um, affiliation of what they call the Illuminati in that money that, um, that public tender or note, that tender note made both public or private money. The Illuminati sealed with uh, their own understanding. In understanding the land and he who has inherited it died for all people. This is um, the said analogy of that died for all people, freed all people of debt. Jesus Christ and the others who are established with God's will and theft, the real thief, the government. And when I say the real thief is the one who is the savior is the sacrifice name within us all for a great burning a theft the uh, inheritance of the land while the preachers idle churches idle churches Muslim churches or Muslim idols or idols that have Muslims Impicted with a third eye or interracial relationship, Muslim, Muslims, anything that is not um, full bred in a uh, genre or type or classification of people is a Muslim, or they call Egyptians were first established with the Irish Mayans. And then it went into the Aztecs and Muslims, Egyptians, Muslims. The, the Savior who said, I will bless you twice as much, free my people from their debts. I have come into your land and you had offered it to me. And I have spoken from the greatness of him who is called the Savior, Jesus Christ. I have blessed your land. I had given wisdom, though I had not offered it to you. You have practiced burning a uh, favored one in a union for theft. And you'll take that theft as a governor of the land with your money already in your pocket and all the debts throughout the land. I live in Texas for one and uh, was born in Oklahoma. However, the, the land which belongs to all people through childbirth and this is why I say if you thieve, your children will be cursed. The children throughout the entire land will be cursed. He who comes from a different state to thieve from the land of that state, which is him who had inherited and humbly opened up his book, which is in, in his mouth with the great Savior who said, Free my people, you thief. Free my people from all their debts because I had spoken from the great king and I know as a poor man in the street with nothing but a bag 
nothing but a blanket, nothing but a pillow, uh, stones to grind down, nothing but um, a pencil or pad, and something to write with, nothing but a, a recording to say that I am who I am and you are who you are and it is already written the jealousies of such things. The land that is offered to him who has inherited it through Jesus Christ, through the Trinity, through Jesus Christ only though as the Savior. Not just the Savior but the one Sacrifice as the Savior, the sacrificial name. He, the governor, president, senator, police, law, household, he who offers the favored one the land will be blessed twice as much. But the theft, there is a small price of theft. Free my people of their debts. You're going to have to get one strap. Hold on, mother. And this is the reason why the people are freed from their debts when a governor thieves from somebody that is poor and established with God's foundation above which also established the foundation here upon this earth through all childbirth. God, Orion, the stars, and then Hades, his brother, who established life through dying from God, being born in the fleshly sin. Free my people if you thieve from me. And go to California with your idol churches, your offerings, your um, said sacrificial name, Jesus Christ, though you had offered something that came off of somebody else, the covenants are still God's. And God said, free my people. Free my people if you thieve from me and keep me poor, knowing that you will continue to run a government like you run it as a big thief and, and not free the people from what you thefted from them. And the moral ethic of law that says, and you owe something, you owe something, you owe something, and we're innocent. We owe nothing. All right. Will I bless you or will I curse you? If you steal from the one who is said to be king, but poor, afflicted, with nothing, disabled, dismantled, or broken in some kind of way, if you thief from that person who is favored by God Almighty and you do not give back, will I curse the entire land, says the book. Or will I bless the entire land if you free my people? The world of choices in the great wisdom that is with the helmet of salvation, the shoes of gospel, the breastplate of righteousness, and the sword of light with the belt of truth. Free my people and there is no theft. Or thief from me and I will curse all the children in the land. This is the analogy written in the book in several instances, it just is not displayed perfectly for someone to see them unless they are with the archangels who have favored someone as a speaker of the Lord, Jesus Christ the Savior, who is not just him who can free somebody from sin, but it is him who can curse somebody by sin. Free my people. There is no theft. You understand the analogy. Or thief from me. And I will curse your land. Which is the children. And everything that eats off of it. The, the man that comes in. Steals a piece of a man. Who inherited a land. And runs as far off as he can. The animal separates from that man and sharing the same breath, dies, seeks out itself, and tries to kill itself as an animal on the earth, comes back and wonder why the, the thing is still taking place. 
and it's it's a never ending cycle in this theft and creating law in the theft that doesn't pay it will free the people for an equalism. The curse or bless bless your land by freeing the people in the theft or in the theft curse your people and you are not no governor. You are not no president. You are not no senator. You are not no police officer. You're a damn terrorist. Bring my people.